Hi everyone, welcome back to IT Reviews. Once again, we go back and revisit driver updater software in order to review another popular app and in that way also be able to compare some of the top programs in this category. Previously, we reviewed Driver Max. If you haven't seen it yet, the link is here. So it will be a sort of a reference point for another one for today, Driver Fusion. I choose it due its popularity and also because it has a free version. Let's look into its features, free and paid versions, conduct performance tests and then summarize the pros and cons of Driver Fusion. Driver Fusion is a product introduced in 2012 by a humble Dutch company Trixi, which in turn is known for two powerful software utilities, Driver Fusion and Omita 5 Hotspot. DF is designed for Windows 11, 10, 8.1, 8, 7, Wistra or DXP in both 32-bit and 64-bit configurations. The latest and current program version is v9.3, out in March 2022. The interface is localized in 43 languages, including English, Spanish, French, German, Japan, Dutch. The installer 5 is only 30.5 MB. Both free and premium editions are available and the first one is of course limited in functionality. But nevertheless, you can install it and see if you like the app or not. To install DF, download the installer file from the official website. It doesn't impose any additional services or software, yet it starts right away with an offer to view premium benefits and to buy it. Skip it for now and the only option is the process is changing the installation directory. General design is a bit dated and the interface looks too strict with pale colors for borders and panels. The main menu is available on the left side, while the working panel and tools are dynamically displayed on the right side. Changing Windows Radio is not possible, yet the menu bar can be minimized. To be fair and transparent with further review of features and performance, I should say that I use the same test PC as with Driver Max and other apps, with a 64-bit version of Windows 7 on it, 8GB of RAM, an Intel processor and 9020 per 1080 screen. Since I will also take into account the download time of drivers, let's test my connection speed too. Oakla speed test shows 58 milliseconds ping, 87 megabits per second upload and 20 megabits per second upload. As another reference point, broadband.co.uk shows 74 milliseconds ping, 79 megabits per second download and 6 megabits per second upload speed. And now let's move on to features. DF claims to have a 10 million drivers database, although we cannot confirm or disprove it. Driver Boosters states its database in 3 million, and Driver Max says about 2.3 million. Okay, but uh, what if I say I have 20 billion drivers on my hard drive? Let's not dwell on it for too much, just a thought. By the way, DF has a separate web page with their database represented and categorized. So we see that it is really extensive, covering such groups of hardware as batteries, Bluetooth, disk drives, display adapters, human interface devices, cameras, keyboards, memory cards and memory readers, modems, monitors, network adapters, ports, printers, sensors, sound video game controllers, bus devices. It can also be sorted by manufacturers – D-Link, Intel, Cisco and hundreds more. Or you can search by driver name. DF has another curious web page that is a feature comparison of top 8 driver updaters app according to them. All of them can update drivers, yes, all can schedule driver checks, well, except one, most have driver's backups. And then there is this column on features, supposedly unique to DF only, for example, uninstalling disconnected devices, monitoring device sensors, preventing Windows drivers installation, this all leading to this search conclusion at the bottom, and the winner is DF. Remember I said in the beginning that the vendor was a humble Dutch company? Maybe I was wrong about being humble. Anyhow, let's move on and see what feature DF has. Health check is a main function. It performs a comprehensive scan for common driver problems and automatically selects solution for resolve them. In particular, as we see, this process includes four areas. 
updating drivers, creating a backup for currently running drivers, deleting drivers from the Windows Store that are no longer used, and uninstalling devices that are no longer connected to PC. At its core, Health Check is implemented as the one-click maintenance concept typical of the PC tune-up software. Also, users have the choice to include or exclude any of those four tags for scanning and fixing, and that is a positive. Driver backup option has this little icon additionally allowing to configure the destination of saved backups. Another two extra options are hidden behind this little search icon. Show issues that may lead to additional risk and show hidden items both with on and off toggles. However, it may not be clear to a casual user what issues that may lead to additional risk mean. So let me select only this second one. In each of these four sections, the date of last update is displayed. Right, so by default all sections are selected for scanning, but let me select just one first and see how it goes. Click this check button and wait. The process is shown here at the top in percentage. No stop or pause option by the way. And in a while I see that 93 traces of disconnected devices are detected. If I scroll down, I can see them all listed. They are traces from USB sticks, keyboards, smartphone chargers and so on. Ok, let me check the driver update section, because let's not forget our main topic today – drivers and driver updates. So I'm curious what Diep will find. 7 updates proposed for display, mouse, monitor, sound and system devices. For comparison, driver Max detected 18 such updates of the same PC previously. You can view more detailed information on each update including installer driver version you've got and the newer available one, size, manufacturer, release date. On the right side, there are three icons for possible actions to take – hide from the list, show in device control and fix. For now, I'm going to fix just this one driver because I want to leave some outdated drivers on my PC for maybe more similar software to be reviewed in the future. And I have the configuration, it is done. Now let's check the scanning if all four sections are selected as suggested initially. It is quick, 10 seconds, and I got 7 driver updates, 38 driver backups missing, 11 unused drivers, and 93 disconnected devices. Scrolling up and down, the list is very tricky and lagging, by the way. Not sure why, but it is very annoying, I have to say. Note that fix all at once may be risky. It is recommended to study all the issues carefully before applying the section. When not sure, it's better to exclude an item or items before fixing. I will exclude drivers for the mentioned reason and leave all the other sections. Now I click fix all issues and confirm. It starts processing gradually. At the end, I see that one issue could not be fixed. Error details, access denied. This is for Microsoft Network Adapter. Ok, I go back to the health check window and see that all sections have been freshly updated. According to the vendor, device control feature is aimed at viewing and managing the drivers for devices installed in user computers. This means troubleshooting driver issues, viewing used resources, disabling, backing up or uninstalling drivers. Basically, this is an enhanced version of the stock Windows Device Manager. At the first launch, it collects information about all devices installed in system and shows information in a compact report form. Here you can get detailed information about drivers, type, manufacturer, source, etc. Let's click here Scan for hardware changes to start fresh, wait for a while until all files are scanned, and now we see information about hardware devices and their components that are installed. Batteries, disk drives, monitors, network adapters, ports – all those elements are familiar with. For example, let's see what's up with a computer device called ACPI X64 based PC, which is a protocol set by the operating system to control the power state of a PC. Then I see very detailed technical specifications for this device and, importantly, power state capabilities and mapping, things that it is supposed to perform and how. 
Then come its driver installed, I see that it is verified, digitally signed, as well as its location, key, manufacturer, release date and version. Pretty solid, I should say. Now, in terms of management, in this section users have the following options. Disable, enable, install, uninstall, backup drivers for a selected device. Disable works fine, yes. I tried to install a driver for the same device, but no drivers found. Hmm, obviously there is no driver currently for this device, but it would be nice to know what are the possible options or actions here. Let me see with another device that has a driver display. This one has one driver, so I click install. But this fails too, it says there is no driver set. Weird. Finally, let me check the backup option. Select a device. Next. Works just fine. Device monitor. This utility displays hardware statistics in real time. As in other similar utilities, there are no additional settings, because it's an auxiliary service for diagnosis. DF uses this to monitor the health of three PC key elements – processors, motherboard and disk drives. By default, data for the last 30-second fragments is available on the chart users, so I can use the loads of my Intel Core processor and see total load – and separate loads of core sections – 1-4. Next to the section title, there are settings where user can select the parameter to monitor, for instance for processors, clock, load, power, temperature and voltage. Also, all these parameters together can be seen below in 5 columns. For the motherboard, we have such details as fan speed, temperature, voltage. For memory, it is both physical and virtual memory load or data used. Lastly, disk drives show the load only along with general info such as capacity and partition. Driver Cleaner tab enables you to remove drivers entries that were at any time installed for a device. Basically, it scans for unused, irrelevant drivers and removes those drivers from disk and registry, if a user decides so. Let's say I want to remove some registry entries. Program warns that a given entry may still be in use by Windows before I take final action. This is positive, and you should take this really seriously and pay extra attention if you do not want to end up like here, removing my graphic card driver and messing up my screen. Wow. I had to find and reinstall the display adapter drivers and reboot to fix the issue. I also tried to remedy the issue through the health check feature in DF, remembering that we have driver updater software at hand, right? Yet it didn't help. So once again I should deliver a caution. Some system drivers may perform their function from time to time only, and this may lead to incorrect identifications as unused, check twice. Next two tabs are similar and quite useful considering my not so pleasant previous experience with driver cleaner. In desktop you can simply restore the position of desktop icons. In my case, those were 23 icons that were really all messed up and now restored properly. You can also create a backup for this at any given moment. Now what's more important is history, and the good news is that DF creates automatic backup when you take any actions in regard to drivers, updates, deletions, etc. All those backups are grouped in the same manner as main features – backups in health check, in device control, in driver cleaner. You can click each item and view all previous entries. And even better news is that you can restore everything. Program settings are not extensive, starting from general information like about window and manual, which lead us to vendor web page with a structure guide on how to use DF. In case you trouble, you can contact the team or generate and send diagnosis report to troubleshoot an issue. Then you can select the interface language from 43 localizations. By default, it is set to automatic, meaning the program will launch in the same language as your operating system is set to. To layout themes, light and dark. Automatic program updates on or off. In advanced, we have some extra configuration options. System restore points and backups before crucial operations and this is a vital, as I have found out. Also setting the period after which driver backups will be deleted. Another useful thing is the scheduler. 
that is setting the app to check for driver updates of its own, and I can set it to weekly, biweekly, monthly, and quarterly. I can also select elements to be included inside scheduling, updates, backups, store, disconnected devices, as well as set the minimum allowed digital signature for updates to be installed, signed or VHQL, the latter being the Windows certification program. Also, three options in regards to window updates – install software included in Win updates, never install, or install it only if not found on my PC. Additionally, I can set drivers for specific devices to be excluded from such updates. In account, I can change my password or email, and in the Activation tab, I can manage my license or click a link to purchase it. DF does not have a trial version because it is available both as free and paid packages. Free version has limited functionality. For instance, the essential feature – driver download and update, performed in the health check tab. You can scan the PC with the free version, but you cannot actually then update any driver, and so on. Driver downloads, device control, device monitor, scheduler, backups, and advanced settings are available in the premium version only. Surely you will need such features as automatic driver updates, driver backups, device monitor, scheduler, issue troubleshoots, unknown device identifications, etc. And for that you will have to purchase premium. The basic price for one device and one year is $18.99. $19, let's say, as it is. Let's compare the same license with several top competitors' products. Driver Max is $10. Driver Booster is $23. Driver Easy is $30. So DF is somewhere in the middle range. There are also 2-year and 3-year subscriptions. 2-year costs $33, 3-year costs $42, both for one PC. All prices include VAT and may also vary slightly depending on the country. Online payment options include credit cards, PayPal, Amazon and bank wire transfer. A 14-day money-back quarantine policy is in place too. Finally, DF has a referral programs for new users. People can invite friends and for every new user obtained in this way once get one extra month added to subscription. Let's sum it up. Driver Fusion. What do we have? I would say it is a Razer APC health monitoring tune-up utility, not just a driver updater, or at least a combination of both, as it takes care of maintaining drivers up to date, along with hardware monitoring, register cleaning, removing unused drivers, creating backups and restore points. It showed positive results in basic operations, generating a list of devices, searching and downloading updates, creating driver backups, collecting information on connected devices in real time. If you set it to conduct weekly or monthly checks for a new driver version, you can be sure about your Windows PC stability and smooth performance. Surely DF is not flawless. One or two driver updates failed during my use of this software for several days, as well as some tasks. And deleting entries in driver cleaner section could be actually harmful as I witnessed myself. So be cautious with it. Also, UX has some issues, for example, lagging scrolling through large list of items. Hello to Trixie Design Team! In terms of pricing, first of all, the free version is basically useless, so if you are looking for a free driver updater, don't get your hopes high here. Premium, however, has quite a competitive pricing. Overall, DF is a decent PC health utility, not the best on the market currently and far from the worst. For those users who experience issues with drivers or slow computers frequently, it may be a real use. One final thing worth mentioning, if you are interested in learning more about driver updater software and comparing top products, check out this deep analysis of top security programs. Like, share and subscribe.